To begin repairs on the lower section, first remove the top cap of the upper section as before. Remove the tension rings, pivot arm and bypass assemblies, and the actuator arm assembly as demonstrated in the chapter entitled Repairs on the Upper Section. With the top cap removed, place the water motor upper section down into the repair stand. Using your Phillips head screwdriver and 3 8 inch wrench, remove the nuts from the screws on the bottom cap of the water motor. Remove the cap from the center section by firmly gripping the water motor while lifting up on the mounting bracket on the bottom of the cap. With the cap of the lower section removed, you will see the following. The lower portion of the inlet and outlet valves. The outlet valve of the lower section is identified by a molded plus sign on the bottom of the center section and the o-ring seal which is attached to the valve itself. The inlet valve of the lower section is identified by a molded minus sign on the bottom of the center section and a pointed valve. You will also see the piston stem retainer clip and a Phillips head screw that holds the center halves together. There is also a large o-ring seal. In the lower section you can make two repairs. You can remove crystallization or chemical buildup from the bottom cap and outlets and you can replace the piston stem retainer clip. Check the bottom cap for crystallization or chemical buildup. Inspect the front of the chemical injection port and inspect the pump insertion opening. If there is a crystal or chemical buildup on the inside of the chemical injection port or the pump insertion opening, it must be cleaned. To remove a crystal or chemical buildup on the pump insertion opening, use a soap or vinegar solution along with a light abrasive tool such as a small soft brush like a toothbrush or scouring pad. Soap alone will not work. Be careful not to scratch the sidewalls as this might create a leak. To remove crystal or chemical buildup on the chemical injection port, push a 3 16th inch drill bit back and forth through the opening until all obstructions have been removed. Be careful not to push too far as this might damage the inside of the pump insertion opening. Replace the piston stem retainer clip. Using needle nose pliers, grip the broken or worn retainer clip and work it away from the piston stem with a general rocking motion. If the retainer clip is broken, make sure to collect all pieces from the inside of the water motor. Again, using needle nose pliers, grip a new retainer clip with tabs facing up and work the clip into the diaphragm assembly towards the piston stem. You will hear a distinctive snap when the retainer clip is properly installed. If you do not hear the snap, repeat these replacement steps. Once you have inspected all parts in the lower section and replaced any parts broken, damaged, or showing wear, you are ready for reassembly. First check the o-ring for nicks and cuts. Replace the o-ring if necessary. To ensure proper sealing, lightly lubricate the o-ring with a food grade silicon gel. Place the lubricated o-ring in the o-ring groove on top of the center section. Place the cap on the center section, being certain to align the screws with the proper holes in the center section. Place both hands on the bottom cap and push straight down. A popping sound can be heard when the cap seals properly. Tighten the screws and nuts in a crisscross pattern to ensure even pressure on the seal.